Hi, I'm Jenny Williams with Get a Real Estate Life Coaching Program, and I'm excited that you decided to join us today for our free quick training called Simple Strategies for Creating Unforgettable Customer Love in Your Business with the amazing Simon T. Bailey. Simon is the best selling author of seven books, including uh, The Vuja Day, Release Your Brilliance, and his latest called Shift Your Brilliance. Harnessing the Power of You Incorporated, which I cannot wait to read. And if you're deciding um, that you are going to join us on our September 2nd Mastermind, then you too will get a copy with your ticket. So I can't wait for you to read it as well. Um, Simon uh, is one of the best speakers that I have ever gotten to see, and I don't say that lightly. In fact, the reason I've been crazy giddy about getting him here to share him and his philosophy with you in Birmingham is because my husband and I were at a conference in Hollywood and we got to see maybe six or eight speakers in one day and when Simon got on stage he lit it up. Um, he was fresh, he was genuine, he was authentic and his message moved everyone in the audience and uh, by the time he was done I looked over at my husband and he was also sitting on the edge of a seat and I thought wow that is one special person because we never enjoy the same kind of um, people or speakers or events. And my husband said, we need to go meet him. And we went out and got our photo taken with Simon. And he was just as warm and genuine as he was on that stage. And I did everything I could to get him to come here. So I am so excited he's going to be joining us. But Simon, thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with us today to talk about customer love. Hi, Jenny. So good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, you've been crazy busy with your new book, so um, I thank you so much for being here today, and we're going to um, have a really quick training because you have um, so many brilliant points uh, to share, and uh, I want people to um, see your brilliance and, and know it and learn something they can implement into their business. Um, first of all, you know, what is customer love? Why is it important today? Customer love is creating an unforgettable moment for customers that creates emotional equity in their experience. So emotional buy-in, emotional connection to yeah. the process or the product or you as a business yes. owner. Okay, exactly. so, so what do you think the difference is between really good customer service and customer love. Probably the biggest dif difference is customer service is forgettable, but customer love is unforgettable. So let me give you an example. If you went to a fast food restaurant and you ordered your food, you pull, pay for it, and they say go to the next window, or they gave it to you, that's service. You order delivered. But the unforgettable customer love is not only would they serve you, they perhaps would ask your name and they would say my pleasure and they would say thank you and come again. It's just in those few seconds that differentiates the experience that you're like, wow, that's never happened before. And you would talk about it and you would tell someone else about it. Why would you do that? Because they shift it from communicating to connecting. That's customer love. Oh, okay. So finding that connection, and it's all I, about it. Because and, and when you connect, you love it. You're like, whoa. Well, and we, I feel like in today's world, are we connect with people online, but um, we are not connecting emotionally. Um, and we, I, I feel like there's a void there, and people are really craving that. Yeah, I know that. Really, yeah, and you know what's interesting, the Gallup organization in their latest research, 70 of human decision making is emotional. 70% human decision making is emotional, 30% rational. And when people emotionally connect to a brand, a product, or a person, they will buy more, spend more, and tell others about it. Well, I think you are 
so right, especially when it comes to buying houses. Um, when people connect emotionally with a home that they choose to purchase, um, all logic goes out the window. So um, I, I feel like we see that every day in that emotional connection and um, it's really creating that. You know, how, how can a real estate agent or other small business owner create customer love? There are three things that agents should think about doing. Number one, they should have the mindset that I am not just in the real estate business, I am in the reality. And what I mean by that mm -hmm. is every single day, you as an agent or business owner, you create a moment for the people you serve. And in that moment, it can be um, remember their name, remembering that thing that makes them special or unique. Or like you did when I first came on on the hangout, you said to me that I got in San Diego, which is Georgia's on the Cove. That was a moment that you created for me because it was a little factoid. So I think we have to have the mindset of what am I doing to create moments? The second thing we have to do is what is our point of differentiation? And when I say differentiation, some call it unique selling proposition, but it all comes down to what is it that I really, really know about this customer and how can I exceed their expectation and give them a little something extra? But for example, the next time you take someone that perhaps has take them to see a potential place, if you happen uh, to be showing them that location, what if instead of just sending the handwritten note, what if you did a video email message to them that says, thank you so much for spending time with me today? Well, 99% of the other people that they probably have ever worked with would go that extra step. That becomes your point of differentiation because they're like, whoa, you actually did it. And I think the third thing that's most interesting is it's not just about the clothes. It's about how do we build a relationship? So I want agents and certainly business owners not to see a closing as a transaction. I want you to see it as a relationship for life. And relationships are the currency of the future. So what am I going to do beyond the closing to continue? And those that have been at this for a long time know this really, really well. But it's those relationships that become your unofficial marketing department that perhaps will get you the next list to sell real estate. You are so right. And I love that language. Relationships are the currency of the future. Because when you do turn those people into foot soldiers, um, it, it will pay off for you, right? Um, that is your marketing department. Um, you shared a story with me about how one agent you knew um, created an over-the-top customer love moment. Would you mind sharing that? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's an amazing story. I was talking with an agent friend of mine. I said, hey, how's it going in your business? And she shared with me the story of a guy that she had took to show a house. It was his first time buying. And he looked at the house and said, oh, my goodness, this is it. And how many times as agents have you had somebody buy the first house they see? And so when they got ready to close on the house, he said to her he would like to take another walkthrough. And when he took the walkthrough, he said to her, he says, I can't buy the house. And she's like, why can't you buy the house? And he said, because the pelican's gone. And she said, what do you mean the pelican is gone? And then she shared with him the story of when he walked into the house, he saw the statue of the pelican. And unfortunately, the people who had sold the house when they moved out, they had taken the pelican Ned, and she said to him, meet me at a coffee shop. Let's just talk about this a little bit more. And so they met, and the reason he didn't want to buy the house is because he said when he saw that pelican in the house, it was like a sign from his grandfather that it was okay for him to buy the house because when he was a little boy, he used to go to his grandfather's house, and he had statues of different pelicans. And his grandfather had left some inheritance money for him to buy his first saw the pelican in the house he's like oh my goodness this is it so she told him she said I want you to wait right here and then happened to be an antique store there in the town and she went and bought a statue of a pelican and she came back to the coffee shop and she said 
now that we have the pelican, can we close in this house? And he said, yes. It's all because she understood that it wasn't so much about the house. Yes, the house was important, but it was about what the house meant to him. So that pelican was symbolic to him saying that this is not just the house, but it's a home. I love that story. It's such a great example of caring enough to create that emotional connection for your client. Um, so um, now that we've got some extra tips on how to create customer love, um, I know that people are going to be crazy about wanting to follow you. How can they um, follow your message? Certainly, they can go to shiftyourbrilliance.com uh, to, to follow us, and certainly they can go on social media on Twitter, at Simon T. Bailey, Facebook, at Simon T. Bailey, and certainly LinkedIn, at uh, Simon T. Bailey. We are so excited that you're going to be here September 2nd, that um, we can hardly stand it's it. Going to <laughs> And uh, I wanted to um, remind you um, uh, that you're watching that um, if you would like to get a ticket, we only have 13 VIP tickets left, so um, make sure that you log on to BHAMMastermind.com and get your ticket today because you don't want to miss out on meeting Simon, I promise. Simon, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.